Hello. Welcome. How are you? I hope you're fine. This now is a new person. Maybe you're interested in who this person is. I've got seven questions. The first one is, who actually are you? Tell me about you. Hello. Welcome. My name is Sandor Bela. My sign name is like the sign of sand. I am deaf and blind. All right, thank you. All right, now the second question. I would like to know what you're working. Tell me about it. I work at a, a sheltered workshop for the automobile brand Audi. Okay, now let's come to the third question. Were you born deafblind or how did you become deafblind? I was born deaf and I could see well, except that my field of vision was limited. I could not see very well in the dark. At the age of 13, I heard that I had some kind of eye vision sickness and I needed new thick glasses. The doctor told me that I would blind in the coming years. Uh, it hit me, but I was not very sad at that time. Then at the age of 20, the limitation of my field of vision started gradually. I was sad now and then, so I eventually blinded at the age of 44. I was completely blind then. Okay, well now the fourth question is how many deafblind people are there in Germany? Well, in Germany there are around three to four thousand of them. There are different groups. The first group is deaf and visually impaired. The second group is deafblind. The third group is hard of hearing and visually impaired. And the fourth group is hard of hearing and blind. Those groups do not, they are not the same, they differ. Okay, now the fifth question is, I would like to know how... Jesus came into your heart, how you um, accepted the faith in Jesus Christ and how you became an Adventist. Please tell us. When I was a little boy, I was at a Catholic boarding school for the deaf. Once a nun sat down next to me and she opened a children's Bible There were many pictures of the Bible. I saw them and I was interested in it. There were biblical stories and the nun explained them to me. And so she leafed through the Bible. And when we came to the cross, I, I was 
surprised. I was touched. I I didn't know what this meant. And so the nun told me, this man, he was he was harmless. He didn't do anything, was without guilt. But I didn't understand it. So after a while, uh, I went to the Jehovah's Witnesses because of my parents. But I didn't really understand a lot. So then a while later, I went to the Christian Sign Language Fellowship Church and there were so many deaf people signing and I liked the communication but I still did not understand the symbolism of the cross and why Jesus had to die for me. So then later I visited an Adventist church and I got to know them and I studied the Bible and the Adventists, they explained to me the meaning of the cross and why Jesus died for me and then I understood And then I felt Jesus and I accepted him in my heart. And I was silent and I had peace and I was happy and thankful. Now my sixth question is, how do you imagine to bring the gospel to other deafblind people so they connect with God I would like to get in touch with the deaf blind people and I would like to I would like them to get to know Jesus how Jesus is how his character is I want them to get to know Jesus that would be my wish I'd also wish to invite the deafblind people to go to the church, to a church service, and to get in touch with other deaf Adventists who can sign so they will not have any language barriers, communication barriers. Both sides would be able to sign. Um, the sermons could be interpreted by sign language interpreters with tactile signing and if there'd be three, four, five deaf blind people there could be just as many sign language interpreters using tactile signing Now we would like to give you the opportunity to make a personal comment. I want the deaf and blind people to be happy and to be connected with Jesus. They should not be sad about their hearing loss and sight loss. No, they should remember that there will be a new earth and a new heaven where Jesus will renew everything, we will be able to see and to hear again forever and ever. I'm very much looking forward to that. That was beautiful. We're happy and thank you that you came here, that you took your time to come for the interview. And it was interesting what you told us. There are, you told us that there are so many deaf and blind people here in Germany, but there are so many more in all the other parts of the world. We want to think of them. We want to pray for them. We want to encourage and help them so that they may grow in number. And when Jesus returns, they will come with him and go to heaven with him. Sandra, thank you very much. Bye-bye.